to replace the question mark with the correct number. You have few equations which are given for your reference. With the help of those equations, you have to find a number which can replace mark those two question marks in this puzzle. So I will give you some time so that you can solve this puzzle by yourself. And please comment what are your solutions for this puzzle in the comment section given below with this video. So after that, after your solution, I will provide you the answer to this puzzle. So here is the solution to this puzzle. In this figure, in the first equation, we can consider this figure, this figure and this figure as x. So we have x, again we can consider this figure as x and this figure is also considered as x. So we have x plus x plus x which is equal to 45. As these three figures in the first equations are similar. so. Uh, if you take this figure, there is a hexagon, inside that there is a pentagon and inside that there is a square. So each side of a figure is considered as one number. So if we have uh, a octagon, oh sorry, hexagon, it is six sides, then we have a pentagon which has five sides and we have a square which has four sides. So six plus five is eleven plus which is 15 so this figure represent 15 second figure of the equation also same as the first one so we take as 15 in this figure also this is also same as board 2 so we will take it as 15 so which is 15 plus 15 is 30, 30 plus 15 is 45. So this equation is valid. After this we have some bananas and then the same figure which we seen in the first equation. So there are 4 bananas in this figure. Each banana represent one number. So we have 4 bananas. So representation is like we have 4. This is also in this figure also we have 4 bananas so we can take it as 4. In this figure we have uh, same as hexagon then pentagon and then square which is similar to this one so we can take it as 15. So we have 15 plus 4 19, 19 plus 4 is 23 so this equation is also valid. After that, in the third equation, we have 4 bananas, so we can take it as 4. Now we have 2 clocks, and shorthand of this clock is pointing to 3, and also the shorthand of this clock is pointing to 3. So the shorthand represents the number we can take. So it is 3. In this figure, also the shorthand of the clock is represented to 3, so we can take 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. So this equation is also we have solved. After that there are some there is a clock, then we have few bananas and then a figure. So same taking the same scenarios like uh, taking the shorthand of the clock. So it is pointing to 2, not to 3. So we will take the number as 2. In this figure we don't have 4 bananas have only three bananas are there one two and three so we will take the number three each representing a number in this in this figure also we have three bananas so we will take the number three now with this figure we didn't have the square which we have in the first equation so we have just a hexagon and a pentagon so we have uh, six sides plus five sides with pentagon so it represents 11 so making the equation so we have 3 into 11 then we have a plus symbol between 3 plus 3 and a plus symbol between 2 plus 2 and 3 so taking the board mass into consideration so what board mass says like brackets O4 of then we have divide then we have multiplication then we have addition then we have subtraction so 
Multiplication is given preference over addition in the board mass rule, which is a mathematical rule. So first there will be a multiplication between 11 and 3, which will give you 33. Then there is addition of 2 plus 3 with the 33. So 33 plus 3 is 36 plus 2, which gives you the number 38. So, which is our solution of this puzzle? So, hope you like. Is the puzzle which is very popular on the Facebook and very few people could able to give the correct solution of this puzzle can you solve this pause this video and give your solution in the comment section below also please like and subscribe our youtube channel puzzle Adda, which motivates us to make more videos so now here is the solution for you so there are four equations given in this puzzle three are already been solved and you have to replace the question mark in the fourth puzzle to give the correct solution of this puzzle so taking the first equation into consideration so according to the first equation pair of shoes plus pair of shoes plus pair of shoes is equal to 30 so there are uh, three pair of shoes which equals to 30 so if we consider one pair of shoes it will be equal to 10 so we can consider like one pair of shoes is equal to 10 now we will come to the second equation which says that pair of shoes plus there you can see a coach with whistle on his neck then plus again a coach with whistle 
on his neck which is equal to 20 so there is pair of shoes plus coach with whistle on neck plus coach with whistle on neck is equal to 20 with the first equation we know pair of shoes is equal to 10 so now 10 plus coach with whistle on neck plus coach with whistle on neck is equal to 20 so we can say like coach with whistle on neck is equal to 5 so which solve this equation as well so which means like 10 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 20 now we move on to the third equation so the equation says coach with whistle on neck plus there are two whistles you can see in the first uh, in the second figure then in the third figure you can see two whistles so equation is like coach with whistle on neck plus two whistles plus two whistles is equal to 13 with the second equation we can say coach with whistle on neck is equal to 5 so replace that in the current equation so plus uh, so equation is 5 plus 2 whistles plus 2 whistles is equal to 13 so 2 whistles will be equal to 4 replacing the values in the third equation 5 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 13 so one whistle will be equal to 2 now coming to the fourth equation we need to solve so in the first figure in the equation 4 there are pair of shoes then a coach but it doesn't have a whistle on his neck then we have only one whistle so seeing the values of all pair of shoes is equal to 10 a whistle is equal to 2 and a coach with whistle on his neck is equal to 5 and if we remove the whistle from the coach so if we say a coach without whistle on his neck is equal to 3 so replacing all the values in the equation 4 so we have pair of shoes in the fourth equation so it will be equal to 10 then we have a coach but it doesn't have a whistle on his neck so it is coach without whistle on his neck so it has a value of 3 which comes from a coach with whistle on his neck 5 its value and minus value of whistle which is 2 so coach without whistle on his neck is equal to 3 into a whistle which is a value of 2 so the last equation becomes 10 plus 3 into 2 so taking the board mass into consideration 3 into 2 will be considered first so the value of this equation becomes 10 plus 6 so which will be equal to 16 which is the solution to this puzzle so the here is the puzzle a numeric lock has a three digit key there are five hints which are provided for your reference. Will you crack the code? Try it yourself first. Type in your answers in the comment section below. Now let me solve the puzzle for you. So this is the development environment which I have set up to crack the three digit numeric lock. On the right side we have all the five conditions which have been given to us. Below that we have two lists, one is correct solution list and other is confirmed solution list. Correct solution list will contain the digits which can possible be correct code for the lock. On the other hand, confirmed solution list will contain the digits which are confirmed to be correct code for the lock. On the left hand side, we have the solution area where we will solve the puzzle. So let us take the first condition into the solution area. First condition says 
out of 6, 8, 2, there is one number which is correct and well placed. So, we will add 6, 8 and 2 to the correct solution list. Let us clear the solution area. Now, we have 6, 8 and 2 in the correct solution list and our confirmed solution list is still empty. Now, we have added the second condition in the solution area which says out of 6, 1 and 4, one number is correct but wrongly placed. Now, according to the second condition, we will add 1 and 4 to the correct solution list. 6 is already there, so no need to add it again. Now, we have 6, 8, 2, 1 and 4 in the correct solution list and our confirmed solution list is still empty. Now, taking both conditions 1 and 2 in the solution area, in both conditions, digit 6 is common. According to the first condition, one number is correct and well placed. And according to the second condition, one number is correct but wrongly placed. So, if we take the digit 6 as the number which is correct and well placed in condition 1, which will contradict the condition 2, so 6 should not be in our solution set. Now, removing 6 from the solution list. Now, clearing the solution area and updating the correct solution list. Now, adding condition 3 to the solution area, which says that two numbers are correct but wrong placed. Now, according to the condition 1, and 2, we have already declared that the number 6 is should not be in our correct solution list. So, with this condition 3, we can tell that 2 and 0 are the two numbers which are correct and which are wrongly placed. So, now we will add 2 and 0 in our confirmed solution list and we will add 0 to our correct solution list because 2 is already there in the correct solution list. Now, taking the condition 4 into the solution area which says that nothing is correct. So, the digits 7, 3 and 8 should not be in our solution set. So, we will remove 7, 3 and 8 from all the conditions and all the list like two list we have correct solution list and confirm solution list we will remove 7 3 and 8 and also from the condition 1 and 2 we have found that 6 should not be in our solution set so removing 6 7 3 and 8 from everywhere now we will update the correct solution list as 8 is removed from the correct solution list. Now in the correct solution list we have 2, we have 0, 1 and 4 and in the confirmed solution list we have 0 and 2. Now we will add all the 5 conditions in our solution area and we will also add the code which we need to find in our solution area. Now taking condition 1 into consideration which says one number is correct and well placed. So 6 and 8 digits are already not in our solution set. So only number or digit we have left with is digit 2. So it is the number which is correct and well placed. So, at our code which is of three digits, at the third place it should be two. 
so the third digit of our code is 2 which is confirmed now taking the conditions 3 and 5 into consideration the condition 5 says that one number is correct but wrongly placed at in the fifth condition the number 7 and 8 are not in our solution set so the only digit we have left with is 0 so it should be in our confirmed solution list so taking the uh, condition 3 also into the consideration which says two numbers are correct but wrongly placed we have already provided the location to digit 2 so in according to the condition 3 and condition 5 0 should be at the first location of our code now we will take the condition 2 into the consideration which says one number is correct but wrongly placed so if we take the number 1 as the number which is correct but wrong placed so it will contradict our code in which if uh, only the middle position is left so that number which can be in that middle position is number 4 which fulfill the condition 2 which says one number that number can, uh, is 4 is at the is correct but it is wrongly placed so we will fix the position 2 into our code for the digit 4 so we have successfully cracked the code so the code which will open the loc is 0 4 2 it let me put the 0 4 2 in the code so this puzzle is solved the code is 0 4 2 which is the solution of this puzzle for this puzzle in the first equation we have a tree with star plus a tree with star plus a tree with star which is equal to 21 so we can say a tree with star is equal to 7 now in the second equation we have a circle inside it there is six lines plus a circle inside it six lines plus a tree with star which is equal to 19 so taking the value of a tree with star from equation 1 which is 7 so a circle inside its six lines according to the equation 1 and 2 is equal to 6 so a circle inside its six lines is equal to 6 now we come to equation number 3 which says a star plus a circle inside its six lines plus a tree with star which is equal to 15 so from equation 1 we have a star with star, uh, a tree with star is equal to 7 from equation 2 we got a circle inside its six lines is equal to 6 so putting the values so we got a star is equal to 2 now the last equation the equation 4 which we need to solve which says a tree but without a star plus two stars into circle inside there are five lines not six lines in this figure we have circle with five lines so equation says a tree without star plus two stars into circle inside five lines so 
taking the bore mass into consideration we will first consider multiplication symbol then we consider addition so with the value of from of a star from equation third we got the value of star in this equation which is two stars is equal to four now circle with five lines is equal to five as the circle in the equation two is equal to six which has six lines so now a tree with star is equal to seven but a tree without star is equal to five so value of a tree without star is equal to five but wait a moment have you checked the branches of tree in the equation four the number of branches in the fourth equation tree is six so the value of the tree in the equation four is equal to six so putting all those values in the equation four we will get the correct answer as 26 so this is the correct answer of this puzzle hope you can move only two mass tricks and you have to create the largest number you can number which is provided is 508 you have to use this 508 you have to move only two mass tricks and create the largest number you can strictly speaking this puzzle can have multiple solution based on the logic the person is using so let me give you the possible answers to this puzzle so first could be the solution of this puzzle is you have to move this mass check over zero and put it here uh, and you have to move this mass check and you have to put it here only two mass check I have moved and I got the number triple nine so it could be the first solution to this puzzle yeah so I got again the second solution to this puzzle it can be like we can move this zero and you have to put it here then we can move this mass check over zero we can put it here which comes up to be five double one eight one fifty one thousand one hundred eight 81 so it could be another solution to this puzzle many of you can't, haven't given this answer okay so this could be a second answer to this puzzle so let's take another logic and give you I will give you another third solution for this puzzle so the third solution of this puzzle can be we have to move this mass trick which is on zero and put it here and then we have to move this mass trick over zero and put it here yeah 
so it could be five one five uh, one five double one eight but we have got five double one eight one which is greater than that but if we rotate our camera so we can get another number which is eight double one five one eighty one thousand one hundred fifty one it could be the third solution for this puzzle so isn't it great so let it like we have to move on fourth solution for this puzzle so we have come up to the fourth solution of this puzzle for that you have to again move this matrix over zero and we have to put it here then the matrix which is below zero we have to put it here which is like a uh, exponential symbol so which is 5 exponent double one eight it could be the fourth solution for this puzzle so let me give you the fifth solution and the last solution for this puzzle so the fifth solution for this puzzle is you have to move again that uh, maastricht over zero and you have to put it here and then you have to move the maastricht below zero and you have to put it here which can be like um, 5118 then exponent is 11 so it's also could be a solution to this puzzle hope you liked all the solutions